All right, people, this is how this truck was bought and we're gonna turn into a food truck. We sold the tray so we can get into access to the gearbox so we can change the gearbox and clutch. And this is what we're doing here. Now you wanna do all your repairs before you actually start building. And now everything is stripped off the back. It's ready to go. First thing you wanna do is probably remove all the rust from the chassis which what we're gonna do now and as you see there was a rust on it which has been removed and then I'm gonna prime it and then paint it and um, you will see here is we priming it now and then throw a bit of a black on it and it looks smeek and yeah and we're on our way to build a food truck finally and we bought some metal i didn't like it because i wanted to have a duragel which have more rust properties and um, i use this meat metal for a trailer which i'll show you later here we're going to build a new frame for the truck and four by two actually 4.2 by 2.2 meter and cross members are every 450 which is millimeters um, gives a bit of more strength. It's 65 by 65 mil, two and a half mil thick tubing all around. What the engineer wanted. And here we're gonna mount the frame to the truck, weld it. Um, you wanna have these plates at least eight mil thick. Um, engineers like it if it's above, I'd use 10 mil, um, had no problems. Engineer was happy with um, two mounting bolts on it. And then we started building food truck out of it. Putting the EPS panels in on the frame and used a form ply as a ply underneath, which is uh, pretty good to use for the floors. You can use marine ply if you want extra work, that's up to you. And we're putting the walls on the truck. And uh, here you can see the box is sort of half done. Uh, only missing the back and um, here it looks the side and that black thing is a generator box that's where my generator will be sitting and um, behind it will be at the end of the body would be the gas box um, roof corners they were a bit of pain to put together but a bit of, a bit of a wiggle and um, force anything can be achieved um, so here you can see the box coming up the truck body is all pretty much done and um, it's looking good here's another look and this has got the keys in there and we'll show you what the roof looked like that's probably the best way to set up the EPS panels it gives you a bit more strength um, and you will see how I cut the back out and um, and my dodgy platform to work on it too work safe 100% it worked and now you will see how the whole door is cut and we used 50 mil capping to cap the doors and you will see the floor now all these mounting screws had a holes in it which has been filled with the filler and the floor has been sanded with 180 grit for the primer to go on which makes the liner stick better so i don't have the photos of um the primer being applied which i forgot to take i was rushing it and you can see the generator box at the back and here we go we're putting the liner down down finally once the liner is down I ended up cutting all the corners, extra material and everything, making sure everything is all straight. And then we started working on um, generator slide, which you can see it here. I just welded laying around 50 by 50 um, C channel, 2 mil, just tacked it together. Put the slides on it, which is 220 kilo rated and bolted into the generator box as a slide. You can see, oh, I did put a little liner underneath, so grease won't get there. You can see the liner again, all patched up, ready to go. 
Then I started building the door on it, the back door. I put the top door first, which will swing open. And I failed attempt at wrapping the truck. It wasn't very pleasant. You probably want to do that before you put the panels on. I mean, it's not probably the smartest thing to do, but it's easier. Here you can see the window cut. Finally, we're almost ready to sell food. Um, it's easier to cut from inside than cutting it from outside because um, you won't need a ladder for that. And you can see how it's, it was done. There you go, I made a four cut and then a bit of a grinder work and she was done. Now you can see I put a little bit of stainless on the generator box as a bench and the gas works. And here's the stainless steel gas box where all the gas bottles gonna sit. Um, exhaust canopy. It was a bit of a work as I didn't like the way the motors were sitting facing upwards. I wanted to turn it around so there was a bit of um, electric wall and juggle, juggling around and then fitted the motors out of through the wall the way I liked it. Um, I mean you can leave it as that but it's no much room for you to wiggle around at the roof then. Um, yeah and you can see the exhaust canopy is in. Um, gas box, electricals all done and um, here you can see probably gas box little corner sticking out on your my end and then we moved on to sinks made this little bench with a stainless and apply underneath with a couple of legs I mean four to be precise but yeah and um, another look of inside see how it's all been setting up and we bolted the sink on top of the gas box because you want to keep all that away from gas and we're putting the equipment in now finally want to make sure all your equipment is all tested and ready to go and here is this equipment getting hooked into the gas and all the gas work has to be compliant by a certified gas um, plumber same goes with your electricals um, and um, you gas man probably would ask you to put this um, went at the door if there is a leakage here you can see how the gases were bolted um, in a stainless steel box which sits under the sinks and you can see the electricals plumbed and here is the final product it's all done I bolted the fridges on the other side of the um, equipment and if you want to see more I'm building another trailer which you guys will see later on and um, here is um, plumbing work if anybody needs a hand with that um, I will try to answer as many questions as I can um, thank you guys for your time and good luck with your build